Welcome to our electron line. Now let's see how the gravitational redshift affects photons trying to get away from a black hole. Now here we have a schematic of a black hole. All the mass is at the very center of the black hole, a tiny singularity with all the mass present. And let's assume for a moment that the mass there is equal to the mass of the sun. Typically, it will be much more than the mass of the sun, but just so we can work out the numbers, let's assume that it contains the mass of the sun. There will be an event horizon around that small singularity, and the distance to the event horizon from the singularity is called the Schwarzschild radius, and for a mass in the black hole equal to one times the mass of the sun, the radius is calculated to be 2,964 meters, just shy of two miles. Let's say we have a photon trying to escape that black hole, trying to escape the border of the black hole, so to speak, right at the event horizon. What would be the potential energy at that location? And then, of course, we realize if the potential energy is half the total energy, then the kinetic energy available will just be enough, just sufficient to, for the photon to get away. Inside the event horizon, the potential energy would increase, the kinetic energy would decrease, it would not have enough energy to get out, and no light can escape the black hole when it's inside the event horizon. So let's calculate this GMR over C squared for a black hole. GM over RC squared. So again, that would be 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, the universal grav gravitational constant. Let's say we have one times the mass of the sun. The radius of a black hole, the Schwarzschild radius, would be 2,964 meters. That would be for one solar mass black hole. And then, of course, still we have 3 times 10 to the 8 quantity squared. The, that would be the speed of light squared. So we have 6.67 e to the 11 minus times 2 e to the 30th divided by 2,964 and divided by 3e to the 8 squared equals, and as we predicted, that is exactly equal to 1 half. That shows that a photon at the event horizon would have just enough energy to break free because the other half of the total energy would be the the energy of the photon, so when the energy of the photon equals the potential energy required to get away from that gravitational uh, object or the gravitational force of the object, then you can see that the event horizon would be the limit. Anything closer to the singularity than the event horizon, this number would become greater than one half, and therefore the photon could no longer get away. And that's why we call it a black hole, because no radiation can escape from within the event horizon, because the gravitational redshift would be greater. The amount of energy required to overcome the potential energy would be greater than the energy contained within the photon. And that's why we call them black holes.